All right, so we have finished up the first month. Hockey season is in full swing. And so now would be the perfect time for us to go over our top 10 power rankings. All right, first in line, ready to go. All right, calm down. I get you're excited to be here, but it's not your turn yet. Uh, we're actually gonna start with number 10. Uh, to everyone's surprise, San Jose. Uh, excuse me, what do you mean to everyone's surprise? You're still third in the Pacific Division, so don't get too confident there. Uh, but your schedule also hasn't been the toughest with you losing to some better teams, uh, but you still earned your spot here due to your initial fast start. Well, I don't want to be here if you're just going to be mean about it. <laughs> Someone can't handle the Whoa, heat. what are you doing here? You were not invited to this meeting. <laughs> Stupid injuries. All right, number nine, uh, that goes to the Rangers, goaltending. Igor has been incredible for you guys. <laughs> yeah, but we are more than just that. Oh, absolutely. You have Adam Fox, who's on his campaign to win the Norris again, and just overall, this team is pretty exciting. Oh, hey, Jillian, sorry I'm late. Let's get this going, huh? Um, I'm not sure how you got this meeting invite, Steve. Um, you guys aren't in this one. Oh, well, that that's fine, Jillian. You're entitled to be perfectly correct. They lost 7-1 to the Penguins and they had no Penguins on the team. Okay, yep, yep, that's fair. Apparently, if you have four national networks dedicated to you, you just think you get into these things. All right, moving on, we have number eight, Tampa. A little lower than I think we all expected, but you're bouncing back after Kucherov's injury. Yeah, sure, injury. Enough of that. They actually couldn't even be here today because they're getting their surgery. I told you guys I all wasn't right, faking. Thanks for the update, Tampa. Um, so next up, we have Minnesota in seventh. Woohoo! Look at us go! You are seventh. Just calm down. That's super embarrassing. Yeah, don't get too carried away. You are an exciting team, but you're living on a knife's edge right now. You gotta start winning games by more than one goal. Shouldn't be a problem now that Kaprizov has broken through with his first goal. You can only hope with that contract. Um, so up next, we have the Washington Capitals at number six. You sure we shouldn't be any higher? Maybe you would be if you had a team full of Ovechkins, because it certainly feels like at this rate, we're going to be celebrating him breaking the goals record by Christmas. And everyone had the nerve to talk about this team being too old. Well, there is still time for that and nobody's getting any younger still. Um, so moving on to number five, we have the St. Louis Blues. Um, honestly, a little bit apprehensive about this team. Feels like Tarasenko is playing just because he really wants to get traded somewhere else. Hey, hate on us all you want. He's playing and producing and we're top of the central. And even more fortunate for you, Cairo is producing this season. So now if you could just keep a Bennington calm, we don't need any more stick waving and stuff. <sighs> People are so dramatic. So for number four, we have the Oilers. You mean the Flames, they're sitting right there. Nope, you are four. I have power rankings right here. <laughs> ah, suckers. All right, calm down. You're only one spot ahead of them at third. I'm not sure I understand why they're considered better than us. We've already beat them. They had a six game road trip through the Metro nonetheless, and that is no easy task. So their schedule has felt a little more challenging. So what I'm hearing is that as long as we stay away from the saddle them, we are golden. I think that's true for most everyone, really. Including Eichel. We're doing fine without him. It wasn't worth the price anyways. Battle of Alberta is always fun. I'm loving seeing you two so close in the standings. If you guys could keep this up until the next time you meet, we'd all appreciate that. Um, so that means we are down to our number two power ranking. We have the Florida Panthers. That makes us number one, which is to be expected because we're still undefeated. Honestly, both of you are great. And while it is still early in the season, it doesn't feel like a fluke for either of you. So if they weren't undefeated, would we get number one? The great news here is that you guys play each other tomorrow. So that'll be a great test of these rankings. And that actually concludes these first month rankings. Thank you all so much for coming in and I will see you, well, some of you next month.